this is uh, John Neal again and I'm going to do some artwork on a window. Uh, it's a bit chilly, fortunately it's not uh, raining or snowing just yet, but uh, if this sound isn't particularly good, it's because of all the traffic. I've got the, uh, the top. But, uh, I'm just going to point out that this um, artwork on the windows is quite uh, uh, durable. It's been here since before Christmas, about four or five, six weeks. So I'm now going to spray some uh, simple uh, uh, spray on it. Uh, kitchen cleaner will do it fine, but there are other cleaners that will get this stuff off. Um, and it's very clever because it just disintegrates quite nicely. In fact, what I've used is some of this uh, product which you can get from BHMA and it uh, gets the, the ink off quite nicely. You can see now that, uh, Time to break down. Just using a washing up scan. Oh, you look very nice. It's a bit better shown now. Yes, very good. <laughs> Right, here we are, on with the magic cape. Hat straight. And we're ready to go. It's important to get the window quite clean. Otherwise the uh, ink could run off again. I'm using purple here because the top of the shop has uh, got a purple sign even though there's brown around the windows and she wanted the letters quite neat and stylish so I've done them quite open here and the thick elements to the letters uh, will take some colour in a moment. You'll notice there's some little blue dots at the top of the letters. Rather than draw a complete line across with the wipeable pen, I've just put some dots so I can follow the, the line across. Now there's the body to the R. And the L, look, put it in there, and then you'll know how long the word is to fit it in underneath. Right here, I'm starting to fill in the spaces with, uh, well I thought of light blue first, but I'm going to move from uh, a regular dark blue through to a light blue. Here comes the light blue now. I don't work that fast, it's speeded up, honest. And then, just get those nice and straight going across. Now white along the top and then make some effort to blend the colours together either by putting some dots or smudging across like I'm doing that at the moment there. Now having done that I can go over the purple edge line once more to tighten it all up. Take that bottom line. If I put the word cut and you notice in a much more fluid way. And I'm going to use that's Wet the wipeable pen. So that is uh, wiped off with just some water or a bit of cloth. And there's the dots going in. 
previously I had put a whole line across, but it was too much to have to keep wiping out. So that is often enough just to work across to guide the letters. Right, I'm staying within the same framework of colours, so this is still blue, a light blue this time. And the lady who runs the shop is a hairdresser's shop, and she wants them to be quite neat and tight, so the style is still the same. And again, I've left myself in um, the middle of the letters to colour in. And this time, rather like I'm cut, I'm going to put white in the middle. the light blue again to uh, fill the top and the bottom and then join them up. In fact the outside letter of the letter, the outline of the letter is in a dark blue. And that's a light blue going in the middle. And that's enough. So you've got at the very top a, a tight a design of letter, then something more loose in the middle, and then this across the here, which is again quite tight. I'm just putting a highlight in white across there. Not right the way around, just along the top of it. And now that's a uh, one of the smaller pens. And just to really make it look sharp, put a ruler across and touch it on the straight on the you can't do the S of course, but the top of the H. And, and so on. That really makes it look nice and same on the bottom edge as well. Right, here we have a homemade device. It's a pair of compasses with one of the pens strapped to one of the arms. And this is a, a rubber piece that will stay on the window. More or less, I have to hold it. But just check how big you want and um, you can quite successfully make a circle. Be careful it doesn't smudge, but in one go you can do it. Actually, she came out later and said she didn't want 38 there. She wanted it bigger, higher up, so I, I didn't have to change it. Right, there was space there to put something about sunbeds. So this is really a loose, open handwriting style. I've chosen yellow, of course, because I'm writing about sunbeds. Now, the word available is over to the left, so a few dots finishes it off. Now, this side of the window, she decided wanted in uh, pink. I'm just outlining, putting the highlight on the right hand upper side with white. Again, there's uh, different styles which I think fit in quite well. Another circle of the price. You see, I've moved 38 up and put a sunbed picture at the bottom. So it all fits together quite nicely as you want. Right, that's it. Thanks a lot. Um, happy lettering, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.